Hello and welcome to Data Research Labs. For today's Excel Quick Trainer, we are going to discuss drawing annotations in Excel. This is video number six of a planned set of training videos. The target audience is students and the objective is to get you quickly up to speed using Excel. First up, the annotation toggle button. So we'll start with a test Excel sheet with a bunch of fake data in it. But first, a level set. Excel calls what I'm about to discuss in the rest of this video, drawing but I'm gonna call it annotations because that's more of the way that I use it. And there's a second level set. Let's go ahead and click on the draw menu. And that is that all these annotation objects, pens, they all require that the draw button, toggle button be depressed. So this is a toggle button. And what a toggle button means is right now it's depressed and then it's not. So that's the on state, that's the off state. And that's it, there's two states, on and off. And in order for any of these to work, you have to have it in the on mode. Next up, annotation with pens and pencil. So here on the draw menu, there are two pens that are pretty much the same, a black and a red that default, and a pencil. The reason they give you two pens is you use pens frequently and you don't want to use a pen, draw something, then have to go up into the settings, make a bunch of changes, draw something else and change. They give you two so that you can get two set up and uh, alter between. So let's go ahead and make sure that draw is depressed. It is. Make sure the black pen is depressed. It is. And then let's just go circle this for whatever reason. So there we have our first annotation. Now let's go to the red and we'll circle this for whatever reason. Now we have a second annotation. Now if we want to go change the black pen, we can look at the properties that are there. We could change the thickness and make it really thick. So let's try that. And oof, boy, that's going to be huge. <laughs> it's just really thick. Or we could change it to really, really oh, that just goes smaller, smaller, smaller. We can go to the smallest size here and then draw that. Also, we could change the color. Sure, we'll go to orange. We'll put the thickness up to wide and then draw our orange. And then they have some oddball, like, space color. We'll make it really wide so you can see it. So interesting. If you wanted to use it, there it is. Uh, so that is the two pens. Switch it back to more of a default. And then there's a pencil setting. I, I don't really like the pencil much. But anyway, it defaults to gray, and and it's going to look like a pencil. <laughs> you could circle, but you barely see it. What if I go to black? It's going to look more like a charcoal there. So that's what the pencil does. And it could look like a colored pencil. You just go change different color, or you could click down here and get unlimited colors. Um, Let's see. Annotations. These, let's roll this up. These objects go kind of in their own layer as a way to think about it. So the spreadsheet, the grid is on the bottom, and these drawings are on top in their own layer. Uh, as a quick tangent, though, I'm going to hit a new sheet. I'm going to click up here, go back to home, change the color to white so it looks like a sheet of paper. Then I'm going to go back to draw. And if you really wanted to, you could draw stuff on a sheet of paper and do whatever you want to do. So you can have those objects as well on a sheet of paper. But I, I use it more as an annotation for doing meetings and presentations and whatnot. Next up, annotation with a highlighter. You can also annotate with a highlighter. So let me make sure draw is active and look at the settings. You have different colors, different sizes. I'm going to make the highlighter, I'll make it really big. Oh, that's pretty big. I'll make it a little bit smaller. And yellow. Uh, oh, I'm not going to do snap to cells. If you do snap to cells as you highlight, it'll it'll only highlight exactly the cell. And I don't want that. I want it to look uh, a little bit more natural, like a handwritten highlight. And that, you see, yellow is kind of hard. Let me make it green there. Green's easier as you see. The green highlight, see the height of the cell? That's actually, it's going to highlight that thickness. And if I go here and make it really big, it it's going to be two <laughs> rows thick of highlight. So that's what the highlight looks like. Next up, erasing an annotation. So how do I erase some of these annotation objects or drawing objects? Well, the easy way when there's no draw depressed, if you're just like at the home, you just go through and click one, press the delete key, click the next one, press delete, click the next one, press delete. I prefer doing it that way. But back on the draw menu, there is a little wire rope here and when you select that and you select draw, it's going to be hard to see, but I'm going to click. And you'll see as I drag, I'm actually highlighting 
there's a dashed line and it's grabbing everything. It's supposed to grab everything inside. It only grabbed that one. It's kind of awkward, I guess. Yeah. So anyway, I can hit delete and it's going to, oh, it did get them all. So everything I circled, it got rid of. So let's try that again. So you can see I have the wire rope depressed. I'm going to click right here and I'm going to drag a circle around. It's hard to see. And then I'm going to release and that should highlight these three objects. So here we go. Mouse pointer down, circle, 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 and release. And it should have grabbed all those objects. I can move them or I can delete it. Now, theoretically, on this last one, I will uh, do the wire rope again, circle it all. Theoretically, I can right click and bring to front. That does work, send to back. But it's never going to go behind or in front of the grid. It's just other objects that go behind or in front of. Um, and then uh, the size and property format link, it's kind of hit or miss. I probably wouldn't use those. There's no fill. There's a line, and I can change the color of the line, but it just gets awkward. So now it's blue, but if I come back up here thinking I can change it, it isn't going to change. <laughs> so I don't know. I guess I guess it's okay. I've done the red. I can't use these objects to change the color. I really do have to go wire select or the old way, click that object, right click it, and then format, and then I could change it to back to yellow. So I guess in that sense, that's one reason that you would want to right click on the object if you needed to change it. But you could just as easily delete it and re-highlight it in a different color. Next up, the ink to shape toggle button. If you ever want to hand draw a shape like a circle or a triangle or a square and then have it auto snap into that exact shape, then draw with the ink to shape button on. So we're going to start by clicking draw, making sure Clicking draw again, making sure that the red pen is down, and then making sure that ink to shape is depressed. Now this should work, but sometimes it's a little bit flaky. So I'm going to go ahead and just draw a square. And there we go. It auto-snapped into a square. And I'll draw a rectangle. And it auto-snaps. And I'll draw a triangle. Auto-snaps. And I'll draw a circle. And I'll draw an oval. <laughs> or something. <laughs> Try an oval again. That's interesting because I can do a three-dimensional shape. Nice. I wonder if I can connect off of it. Nope. <laughs> Ooh, it does arrows. Anyway, it's it's interesting. Um, I can also take off the draw mode. I like this thing. I don't like it, so I select it. Hit the delete key. This thing, I want to make it bigger, so I can go grab an anchor point and drag it. I can grab this little rotator and rotate it. I can grab this. I can rotate it around in space. I can grab this and hold down the shift key so it stays proportional as a circle. Take this one and make it into a circle. And then hold down the shift key to keep it proportional. Or I could leave it squashed and hold down the shift key to keep it proportional as I move. And finally, selecting annotations. Well, nuts, I had previously discussed selecting annotations about a minute or two ago in this video inadvertently, so I'll just go over it again really quickly. Uh, if you want to select objects without the draw on, you can just go click it, hold down the shift key, click the next one, hold down the shift key. Now, that works for this type of object that's an official object. And then I can hit the delete key. But if I actually have drawings that aren't ink to shape, and I draw, draw a couple of them, take draw off. I can select them one at a time, the shift key. Well, in that case, it did work. And I can move them and drag them, and I could hit the delete key, and they'll delete. But there's also a way to use this wire rope, draw, depressed, wire rope, depressed, circle, select them all, and then do the same thing, highlight them, delete them. So that's how to select annotations and move them around or delete them. Or as I discussed earlier, you could also right click and change the properties, colors and other things. Thank you for watching. And please, if you found this video helpful, click like and be sure to subscribe below.